Traditional sign painting may be considered a dying art, but designers like Newcastle-based Ashley Willerton are resurrecting some of the age-old methods. You may have spotted his unique designs on windows and signs around Newcastle. So we headed to the stunning cinema space at Quillian Brothers Tea House to chat to him about his work. So how did you initially get into sign painting? I started off in web design, and which is an unorthodox route to take. But it was uh, I was doing I was doing web design, did that for for four years, and it was through that through that process where I became aware of um, like hand lettering and became a lot more interested in typography and experimenting with letter forms. And I guess after after drawing a lot, it seemed it just it just seemed like a, the next thing for me, like a. I wanted to take it a step further. And it's quite an ancient kind of art, isn't it? It's quite, it's quite archaic. So what, what about sign painting kind of really attracted you to it? The element of it being done by a human and the fact that you can't just do it. It's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a process behind everything. There's, you, have to, you have to learn how to do this thing. It's not like, I, I mean, obviously all design Requires knowledge, like good good knowledge of um, of typography and layout and and all those bits. But I think we've we've got to a point now where someone can buy a computer, they can buy some graphic software, and then the next day, all of a sudden, they're a graphic designer. And whilst there is a, still a massive difference between good design and bad design, people are still able to do that. And I just I just wanted to get back to to drawing and being able to, to do something with my hands and I just think it's amazing walking around town and and now paying a lot more attention to, to signs that have been there for like a hundred odd years and I, I kind of wanted to be like a part of that really. So how, how do you learn how to initially paint signs in, in, that, in that specific way? It's all been from from old books that I've um, that people have mentioned on on Instagram. Like it's it's funny how like like social media has played such a big part in such an old tradition for me because I would have never have been able to to find out about brushes, about how to take care of brushes, about the right paints to use, um, like what things you need in order to get the paint to run in in cold weather and in um, warm temperatures, which is all like all stuff that you don't really think about to start with, and then. It's as you read more that you find out that this, like people put a lot of time into into getting this right, and yeah, it's just that's that's how that's how I've learned about it really. And I guess, like you were saying, with the with the aspects of kind of weather and temperature and stuff like that, it's it's like it's really got to have that um, sort of staying staying put <laughs> value and the fact that it has to stay there for probably what will be a, a long time to come. Exactly, and it, yeah. and it can't be in with some kind of trends so in, in that sense do you need to keep it quite traditional all the time? Or? Um, it depends really I mean the stuff the stuff that I've been doing for Quilliam has all been very like of a, of a turn of a century sort of style because they or well, because of, of the tea house they they really love all that style which has been brilliant because it's the first time that I've really um, I've really used a specific era to inform um, the way I've been drawing letters. And you quit your job to do it full time, didn't you? Much. Last month, yeah, yeah. I, quit, I quit my job to do it mm -hmm. full time. So it, I mean, it's not just it's not just sign painting. It's really um, what what I what I say I offer is like hand letter designs. So whether that be from like logos to to t-shirt designs to to hand painted signs, like everything. But I do I try and um, I try and hand letter myself unless. But there's a, a client wants that wants me to use a certain a certain font. So do you think there'll be a resurgence in traditional sign painting? But it definitely already is. It's just, I guess, it's just not really noticed that much. Um, is that frustrating that people might not necessarily know the difference between no, not, a sign that you spent hours working on and maybe like a mass-produced sign that might look fairly similar? Not at all. Um, I think because I get so much pleasure out of doing it, and knowing that a few people notice it and knowing that the, the owners of these shops uh, are interested in getting done things done um, by craftsmen I think is enough I, I don't really I don't really need everyone to to see it and and and, and praise me it's, it's not really about it. it's just about and en really enjoying it 
and and progressing in myself. And if people notice it, and I know a lot of people do, it's it's, it's brilliant.